the national recording artist and pastor, Dr. Thomas L. Walker. But they won't play it, they were praying. Don't miss the door. I'm only human. I'm just a man. Lord, help me believe in what I can be and all what I am. Good morning, good morning. Amen. Today is certainly a blessed day to be on this morning. I would like to welcome you, amen, to our live broadcasting of Ebenezer Baptist Church, where the pastor is none other than the Reverend Dr. Thomas L. Walker. We would like to thank you for viewing our live streaming, and also we want to say thank you, uh, amen, for your liberal giving. Uh, today is the day that we celebrate our youth on the day. Well, because of the pandemic, I'm only here. But I'm here giving God the praise and the glory. So before we move forward, let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus God, we thank you. Lord God, we acknowledge you and we bless you, Lord God, just for who you are. God, you kept us, Lord God, from hurt, harm, and danger. Lord God, you kept us from seen and unseen, Lord God, danger. And God, for that, we thank you. We repent now, God, of anything that we've said or done, Lord God, contrary to your word. And God, we pray for a heart, Lord God, of love. Lord God, a heart of humility. Lord God, a heart of patience and focus. God, we thank you, Lord God, for our pastor. Continue to strengthen him. Lord God, continue to bless him. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen and amen. Once again, I would like to just say thank you for viewing on our live streaming. We do have uh, opportunity to sow and to give. We have many uh, opportunities. One is our Givelify app. Uh, you can access uh, this by going into either the Google App Store or iPhone Store and download the app and, and, and be able to sow. We also have our Dropbox that's at the front of the church. Um, you can also mail in your offerings. Amen. The 702 West Riley Boulevard, right here in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Zip code is 27803. Amen. We'll be so happy to receive, amen, your resources so that we can sow back into the kingdom of God. Amen. At this time, we'll receive a song, amen, from none other than our very own associate pastor, amen, Minister T.J. Walker. We serve a great God, the splendor of our King. Clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and all the earth rejoice and trembles at his voice. How great is our God, sing with me how great is our God, and oh see how great, how great is our God. The splendor of a King. Clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, let all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, and darkness tries to hide, and trembles at his voice, trembles at his voice. How great, come on and sing with me, it's our God, for all will see, how great is our God, how great is our God. Sing with me, oh, hey, and oh, 
see how great is our God. He's the name above all names. He is worthy of our praise. So our hearts will sing how great is our God. He is the name above, the name above. He's so worthy of. Ooh, so our hearts will sing how great is our God. He's a name. He is a name above all names. God is worthy of our praise. Yeah, yeah. our God. So our hearts will see. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. How great. You ought to sing with me, oh, right where you are. Oh, we'll see how great, how great is our God. Yeah. Amen. How great is our God. Amen. God is certainly great. Amen. From yesterday to today and forevermore. Amen. God is great. Amen. And while you're sitting at your home, begin to create a sanctuary right there where you are. And begin to lift your hands. Amen. And give God the praise, the honor, and the glory. Just for a few moments. Amen. Give him praise. Amen. On this morning, God is certainly great on this morning. He is an awesome God. And bless the Lord, oh my soul. Jesus be praised. God, we thank you on this morning. Amen. Thank you once again for tuning in to our live broadcasting. Amen. Of the Ebenezer Baptist Church right here in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, where the pastor is none other than the Reverend Dr. Thomas L. Walker. Amen. God uh, is doing great things in this season and in this hour. And it may not uh, look like it uh, through our carnal eye. But if we can look at what God is doing through our spiritual eye, God is developing us. God is continuing to lift us. Amen. And he gave me two words on this morning to share with you. And the two words is to stay focused. Amen. If you can type that underneath the video, stay focused. Amen. Stay focused. No matter what it may look like, God is saying, stay focused on me. Amen. And will we take a look and see what stay focused really means. Let's go to the word of God in Psalm 138. Amen. The Bible declares in Psalm 138 and verse 7, the psalmist says, though I walk in the middle of trouble, he said, you will revive me. Amen. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand will save me. So the first point I want to make, amen, when we're staying focused is that you got to believe that God will revive me. Amen. God will give me, amen, a, a, a fresh, amen, anointing for all that I've went through. According to Job 42 and 12, the Bible declares that Job was given double, amen, for his trouble. Amen. How many of you, amen, since the beginning of the year have been walking in the middle, amen, of trouble and anguish? 
Trouble on every side. Trouble in front of you. Trouble on the sides of you. Amen. Trouble behind you. But the psalmist declares that even though I'm in the middle of trouble, hallelujah, God will revive me. Amen. God will revive you. Amen. And not only will he revive you, but he will revive you. Amen. With his stretched out arm. Amen. The Bible teaches us, amen, in, 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 in the word of God. Amen. That Christ died. But not only did he die, amen, but he uh, rose. And not only was he risen from the dead, but he also ascended to heaven and sits at the right hand of God. Amen. So in the right hand of God, we have power. Amen. In the right hand of God, amen, we have anointing. In the right hand of God, amen, we have healing. In the right hand of God, amen, he rescues us. Amen. So the first point I wanted to make, amen, is that God will revive us type God will revive us the second point amen I want to make is that God will rescue me amen God will rescue me amen as Peter amen was on the boat and he amen saw uh, Jesus walking on water amen Peter uh, uh, acknowledged to Jesus Jesus if it be you bid me to come amen and Jesus told Peter to come and as Peter amen began to walk on water, amen. Peter took his focus, amen, off the master. And as Peter, amen, began to drown in water, amen, Peter remembered that it was only through Christ that he could be rescued. Peter cried out, Lord, save me, amen. And I'm a living witness today that Christ reached down his hand, amen, and pulled Peter up, amen, and rescued Peter, amen, with the righteous, amen, right hand of God. Psalm 16 and 11 lets us know, amen, through divine direction, amen, if we began to experience the presence of God, he's able to restore our joy, amen. In his right hand, there are riches, amen, and pleasures forevermore. Thank God, amen, for his right hand. Type down there, thank God for his right hand, amen. Thank God for his right hand, amen. And we see in Isaiah 41 and 10, the Bible declares that we should not be afraid, amen, what comes our way, amen, for I am with you. This is what Isaiah spoke, the prophet, amen, Isaiah spoke to the children of Israel as they were in their captive state. Isaiah encouraged them to not be afraid. He encouraged them to not be discouraged. He said, for I am God. He said, I will strengthen you and help you. Then God went on to say, I will uphold you victorious with my right hand. Amen. We thank God, amen, for his right hand. Type down there, thank God, amen, for his right hand. As we continue to look on, let me bring some points back to your remembrance. My first point, amen, is that God will, amen, revive you. Amen. God will, amen, rescue you. Amen. We will experience the right hand of God. Amen. My, my fourth point, amen, that I want to make, and I'm almost finished. Hallelujah. Is that God will raise me. Amen. Type down there, God will raise me. Amen. We see in Isaiah 40, amen, in the 31st verse. Amen. But if you can simply wait on God, amen, he will renew, amen, your strength. Amen. He will cause you to mount up. Amen. As an eagle, amen. He will cause you, amen, to run and not be weary. He will cause you to walk, amen, and not faint. God is able, amen, to give us strength, amen, in an hour where we feel like there's no strength. Some of you, amen, it's supposed to be the year 2020, clear vision. Amen. And 2020 was your year. Amen. Well, beloved, I want you to hold on to that promise. 2020 is still your year. Amen. God can do whatever he can do. Amen. We experienced the three-day resurrection of God. God created everything in six days. Amen. All you need is one yes from God. Amen. He can turn your whole situation around. Amen. God can raise you. Amen. I'm a living witness. I experienced the raising of God. I remember back in 2017. Amen. I, God declared that that was my year. In January of 2017, I was laid off from my job, a job that I love and enjoy doing, teaching, administering education, and I was laid off. And at that point, I reminded God of what he told me. 
February went by. March went by. April went by. And I reminded God, God, you said that this would be my year. And April the 10th, I received a phone call about another opportunity. Amen. And I was able to go back to work. But get this. Because I went through what I went through, God gave me double for my trouble. Amen. God added double to what I was making. Amen. God blessed me with an opportunity to make even more in the bonus. So the first, amen, four months of 2017, it seemed like, with the natural eye, it seemed like I wasn't going to make it. But I stayed focused and held on to God's promises. And at that point, amen, I saw God reviving me because my countenance was down. I saw God, amen, amen, raising me, amen, because I felt like, amen, I, 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 I felt like, amen, I, I neglected my family. I felt like I was less than a man being able to provide for my family. Amen. God showed me the strength of his right hand. Amen. He strengthened me even though trouble was on every side and bills had to be paid. Amen. My children, they needed food to eat. Amen. They needed things for school. But God saw fit that those things were provided. That's why he told us, beloved, to take no thought for tomorrow. The clothes that we may wear, the food that we may eat, or what we shall drink. He said, and we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then those things that we have need of, according to Matthew 6 and 33, God said that he will give them to us. He will add them to our life. Beloved, that's why I want to encourage you to stay focused. Amen. See, Satan thought he won when, 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 when Christ laid down his life on the cross. But the Bible says that, Scripture teaches us that when Christ rose, he rose with all power. All power was given unto him in heaven and in earth. And that's a reason alone to praise God and to give God praise. So the first thing, God, that I share with you was that God will revive you. Second point I wanted to make is that God will rescue you. Third point, amen, that we will experience God's strong and righteous right hand amen the fourth point i made was that he will raise you up amen and last and certainly not least god will renew you amen type god will renew me god will renew me amen god will renew me amen beloved i'm i'm a witness that when god begins a, a, a work in us amen god understands that when he begins a work amen he won't uh, 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 allow that work to die except he perfected and completed and it's through his son Christ Jesus according to Philippians 1 and 6 listen to this uh, amen Paul says I am convinced and confident of this very thing that he that has begun a good work in you and I will continue to perfect and complete it until the day of Christ Jesus amen isn't that good to know that when God begins a good work in us, that God will finish what he started. Beloved, a lot of times we start things, we, we start with our New Year's resolution, and before you know it, we, we stop doing what we said we were going to do. But I'm thankful to God that he is faithful. God has shown us, God has graced us with his faithfulness, amen, on the day. And that is reason alone, amen, to give him praise, to lift his name up. Songwriter said, lift Jesus up. Still he speaks from eternity. Amen. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Amen. So we thank God, amen, for renewing us. Amen. God is certainly an on-time God. Isn't he an on-time God? Amen. Type there. God is an on-time God. Amen. We have experienced a new way of having worship service. Amen. But the old church, amen, they didn't need the organ. They didn't need the drums. Nor did they need the good talk. All they need was a good foot stomping and a good hand clapping and somebody, amen, to break out into praise. Songs like victory is mine. Amen. Blessed assurance. Amen. Near the cross. These songs, amen, touched our very essence of who we are and our very essence of our soul. And it destroyed chains, amen, that was in our life. 
Amen. The old church understood that it didn't take a whole lot of people to have church. They understood that, amen, when there was two or three gathered together in his name, the Bible declares that he is in the midst. I'm so glad on the day that he gave me a mind, amen, to stay focused on him. Aren't you glad on the day? Can't you, amen, say hallelujah? Amen. Say Jesus be praised. Touch to yourself and say, God, I'm going to stay focused. Amen. Touch your, touch your heart and say, God, help me to stay focused. Amen. Say, God, revive me. Amen. God, amen, rescue me. God, amen, let me experience your right hand. God, amen, let me be risen. Amen. God, amen, renew my strength in the name of Jesus. And I can attest that he will do it. Amen. Won't he do it? I know he will. Won't God do it? I know he will. Amen. Amen. We thank you. Amen. For tuning in. The doors of the church are now open. If you desire to make Ebenezer Baptist Church your home, why don't you type there? I want to join Ebenezer. Cyber. Cyber Church. Church of the doors are now open. God's arms are open wide. And by this message, and you want to remain in the ark of safety, began to call out to Jesus. The Bible says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. With the mouth, confession is made. Yeah. And with the heart, man believe that God raised Christ from the dead. If you make this declaration on the day, you are saved. You see, salvation comes with believing first. And then we experience the awesomeness of God. We experience his everlasting love. We experience his everlasting mercy and loving kindness. We experience the grace of God. Beloved, let me share something with you. Even though this virus may not have hit your home, that's a reason to tell God thank you. Because the faithfulness of God kept you, kept you shielded from what could have happened. If the virus reached your home, you ought to tell God thank you. Because the grace of God will cause you to be healed. And then if you die believing in God, amen, even your spirit going to say holy. Holy is the Lord thy God. Because to be absent from the body means to be present with the Lord. Beloved, we can't lose. No matter how you look at this situation, we can't lose. We always win. And so if you pray that prayer, beloved, you are saved. It's a blessing to know that we don't have to touch you. Amen. We, don't, we, can, we can still use our social distances from one another. And you can still receive salvation. But I don't want you to use your social distancing from God. Because in his presence, you experience the fullness of joy. Amen. Can you type Jesus be praised? Amen. Jesus be praised. And if you were touched by this message and you want to receive a copy of this message, you can mail in at 702 West Raleigh Boulevard. Right here, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. 27803. We thank you on the day. We thank you for our brother, Minister T.J. Walker. Thank you for our musician. Amen. That plays skillfully. We thank you. For those of you that were tuning in, God bless you. May heaven continue to smile upon you. Stay focused and experience, amen, the peace of God that passeth all understanding. God bless you. This is my prayer.
through it all, we serve an able God. God that will provide. We just have to stay focused. Exceeding abundantly above all. We could ask or think according to the power that were given you you God is able to do just what he said he would do he's going to fulfill every promise to you so don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able Just what he said he would, he's going to fulfill every promise. So don't give up, cause he won't. Yeah, he's able. Put your hands together and all that he. God is able, can you help us say, God is just what he said, said he would do, he's going to fulfill, so don't give up on God, cause he won't, yeah. Whatever you need, God, God's able. Yes, He is. If you don't believe me, just try Him for yourself. Watch God. He'll provide. He'll supply. He'll protect you. Yes, He will. Whatever you need, God is God is, God is, I know He is, I believe He is, trust that He is, God is, yeah, yes, yes, God is, yeah, yes, yeah. So don't give up on God. So don't give up. Whatever you do, just don't give up on God. Cause He won't give up. Whatever you do, don't give up. 
You are to spread that all through your house. Don't give up. We got to stay focused on you. Hey, don't give up. Whatever you're going through, don't give up. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Just don't give up. He'll see you through if you don't. Just don't give up. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Yeah. Our God is able. I trust you've been blessed by the services of the Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church. We are located at 702 West Raleigh Boulevard in the city of Rocky Mount. I'm Pastor Thomas L. Walker inviting you to worship with us every Sunday at the Ebenezer Baptist Church, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. We have a special service on the first Sunday where the two services come together at 9 o'clock. Be sure to join us every Sunday at Ebenezer, 